Exploring a new destination can be challenging, but it becomes easier when you receive insider tips from locals or seasoned travelers who have been there before. Today, consider us your personal guides, unveiling 25 essential tips for your upcoming journey to the vibrant and culturally rich destination in Central America. These suggestions go beyond mere recommendations on where to dine or what landmarks to visit. They delve into what to anticipate, safety considerations, crucial driving information, insights into everyday life, and travel nuances not readily available online. So get ready to take some notes because we're talking about El Salvador. El Salvador is the smallest and most densely populated country in Central America. It is bordered by Honduras, Guatemala, and the Pacific Ocean. Our recent visit revealed a welcoming atmosphere and locals sharing the positive changes they've seen in the country. Now that tourists are making their way to this little coastal nation, here are some things that you'll need to know before you go. Spanish is the official language and not everyone has knowledge on English. So, if your Spanish is no bueno, start practicing or travel with a friend who is fluent in the language. Tourism is gaining popularity, but infrastructure is still evolving. Websites may lack updates, email responses are typically delayed, and booking processes are informal. For effective communication, businesses often rely on WhatsApp. So give them a call or send them a text there. Rent a vehicle at the airport or in the city, but convert passenger capacity and pricing before booking. Locals suggested that we squish more people into a vehicle than possible and another tried to increase the rental rate on the day of arrival. Budget options do exist, but when you save on costs, you end up giving up essential items like seatbelts. Seriously, seatbelts. To enter El Salvador, you must purchase an entry immigration card for around $12. It is not a visa, but is a mandatory requirement. Keep the receipt of your entry immigration card with your passport. It will allow you to re-enter El Salvador as long as it's still valid. El Salvador uses US dollars and in circulation are the $1 coin. If you get them, use them all before your trip ends because they are no good in North America. The roads can be rough. Rocky, massive potholes, dips and tire popping debris on the road are common. If you're traveling in the back of a truck at any time, hold on tight. Confidence and assertiveness are a key trait for driving in El Salvador, as bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic is frequent. And be cautious at all times because not all drivers use their signal lights or turn on their headlights at night. Speed bumps are frequent. Some are very high and will scrape or damage the bottom of your vehicle. Choose a 4x4 or forever pass a bump diagonally. When you're stuck in traffic, there'll be a random person walking up and down the road selling beverages. Don't buy them as they may have been opened and the contents been replaced with a lesser quality liquid. There are gaps in the highway meridian for pedestrians to cross at all hours of the day. Cars do have the right of way, but be cautious of these walkways when you're at top speeds, as they are not marked or well lit. North American brands are found everywhere. Some have a better public image and are more popular here than back home. It is pretty normal to see shopping complexes, fast food chains, restaurants, or gas stations have security guards posted with high-powered guns. They patrol, and they see you leaving your car, so smile and say, buenos dias, and do your business. Some smaller strip malls within the city cost money to park, even if you're only there for a few minutes. A business may validate payment, while others leave the cost to you. Safety standards are more relaxed here. Many activities don't have waivers, support railings, or warning signs, and public pools and beaches don't have lifeguards. Always be careful and watch yourself. For popular adventures and activities, always arrive early and get yourself situated. The Santa Ana Volcano is a great example to be early because if you're not there before 11 a.m., you can be turned away. There are certain activities like hiking trails and national park paths that require guides to be with you for the duration of your stay. Is it mandatory? Yes. Are they always required? We didn't think so. If you're looking for something delicious, you don't have to look too far. The fusion of indigenous, Spanish, and other international influences create a unique and flavorful gastronomic delight. Being on the coast, they have fresh seafood, 
Their meats are beautifully seasoned with traditional spices. And when you need a snack any time of the day, try their cheese or refried bean pupusas. Fruit is cheap and can be found in any market or street vendor. For one US dollar, you can get three mangoes or three avocados. That's a deal. Water isn't safe to drink from the tap, so drink purified water. Your accommodations can pick it up for you or get it from the grocery store. Be cautious about eating lots of farm fresh produce as they use tap water on their crops, and it's advised that you eat things that you can either peel or food that is hot and thoroughly cooked. Recycling isn't consistent throughout the country, but know that glass beverage bottles are returnable, but plastic is not. El Salvador is known for its high quality coffee. The country's unique geography and Arabica coffee varieties contribute to a well-balanced profile with bright acidity and distinct flavors, making their coffee special and appreciated by coffee connoisseurs worldwide. There are many ancient ruins and archeological sites to explore freely. These areas have many well-preserved artifacts, providing insights into the cultural and religious practices of the ancient inhabitants. Preparing to leave, the airport was crowded and the lineups were long. So, unless you want to be there hours early, it's best to have carry-on only. At the airport, there are two security checkpoints. Once you clear the first, feel free to shop and snack. However, if you're craving that final cup of bold, delicious coffee for your early morning flight, savor it before heading into your gate. Liquids are prohibited beyond the next checkpoint. One bonus piece of advice for traveling to El Salvador is embracing the friendly locals by saying hola, buena, or hello, with a smile and put out positive energy. During a flat tire incident on the highway, a local spontaneously stopped to help and another offered to get our tire patched in the next village we stopped in. This is the kind of kindness and genuine warmth we've received. Don't hesitate to engage with the locals. Your journey may be defined not by the places you visit, but by the beautiful souls you encounter along the way. If you would like more than 50 tips and tricks for planning your next big adventure, then click on the video above. Or if you have any other suggestions that you think should also be included for El Salvador, then please comment below. We are the artistry of adventure, and we want to spark your creativity to help you experience adventure. Stay connected. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great advice and inspiration. Now, get out there and face the elements.